Hello, IGN. I'm Keza McDonald, and with me is Luke Carmali. Hello. And we're going to talk a little bit about the Wonderful One, which I'm... Well, Wonderful One. The Wonderful 101, which I am playing for review right now. And how you find it so far, Kez? I'll be honest, I'm not totally in love with it. Okay, why's that? Um, there are a few really significant problems that, especially at the beginning of the game, that are really, really hard to deal with. Firstly... Uh, the gamepad, in order to transform, like he's transforming here, uh -huh. in order to transform into the different heroes, um, at first you have like one or two, and then as the game goes on, you collect more and more of them. In order to transform into the different heroes with different weapons, you have to draw stuff on the screen. Uh, okay. Or try and draw it with the right analog stick. Uh, okay. So this is fine when all you have to do is uh, circles and lines, but when it gets to the point where you start having to draw like a whip or a hammer, uh, this this is um, it's here you have to be the hand, for instance. Once you get to the point where it starts drawing kind of Zs and circles and other stuff, like beyond the simple shapes, it's almost impossible to get it right every time. Yeah. It's always getting confused as to which shape you want, which winner in the middle of a combo. And remember, this is a platinum game, so this is not easy. This I was video going game. to say, are you gonna, do you have to change like mid, mid combat and like stuff? Like here, you can change mid combat. So that was in the middle of a sword. Um, that jelly there is like a kind of a, shield. A shield. Right? Yeah, it, yeah. It, it repels damage, which is cool. Um, and you can also spring away, but it's it's a very it's it tries a lot of really cool new ideas. Wonderful one one, but the problem is for the whole game so far, I've just felt like I'm fighting the controller. I mean, it looks a bit confusing and chaotic. Do you find are you finding it easy to keep track of where you are and stuff? That's the other significant problem that it has is that in the in the thick of things, sometimes it's very very difficult to see where you particularly are. Mm. Um, this is how you collect more people. You do your little wonder liner around them. Yeah, and uh, that kind of recruits them to your little squad and you basically make the weapons out of all these little people okay and here um we're also you can you can make the bridges out of them like here you can climb up a building with them oh, wow. which is cool again that's all done with the touch screen um it's really um it's a really kind of cool superhero game i mean it looks really cool. pretty it's like quite distinctive style right which yeah, is which really is nice it's got that platinum sense of humor um, the boss fights, one of which we're about to see, are pretty awesome. Yeah. They're pretty cool. They're really kind of large scale. Um, these QTEs as well, you have to draw on the screen or with the right stick for these, and sometimes that doesn't work, which is really annoying. The thing is, even when you're starting to really enjoy it, there'll just be this moment where either you can't see yourself and you take a lot of damage and you can't see why, or um, you're trying to do a combo with, with drawing on the screen and it gets it wrong and it just makes you really frustrated, well, makes me really frustrated anyway. But it does, it does once you get used to it, it does, it does kind of work a yeah. bit better. That was a fast cut there. Um, I mean, obviously, this, this is a game, it's Wii U exclusive. There's no way that it could have been on other consoles, right? No, no, I mean, it does stuff. try its best to make the most of the Wii U, um, which, which is commendable, but... Unfortunately, it doesn't always work. I mean, so it's refreshing to see a game that's at least using the gamepad for something other than, you know, a secondary map display or something, that's right? Correct. We've got the gun there. That's one of the other shapes you can draw. Yeah. No, I mean, it, look, it looks quite interesting. It is cool. It is interesting, certainly. It's not, it's not a bad game at all. Um, it's just it's got some problems that make things a little tricky. Yeah, and definitely a system seller? Don't know. I would, I would don't know. I'm going to reserve judgment for the review, which will be in a couple of weeks' time. Cool. All right, well, remember to come back and read the review when it's out and watch the review indeed. And for everything else Wonderful 101, stay with us on IGN.